small business owners, you're going to like this. And hopefully you'll like me. I do this as a service to any small, really tiny business owner. Those of us who need photos, put up a website, and innocently use a photo that is copyright and meant only to be licensed. There are extortion firms out there. They are the distributors of photographers' works who bait people who either don't put a watermark on it or make it very hard to discern. So it's an accident our using somebody else's property. Well, one of those firms managed to see that I accidentally used that. They come back with a letter, not cease and desist, not, you know, you're using this and you should pay us 20 bucks fair market value for it. No. An extortionary letter demanding $750 or they'll take some sort of legal action. Those firms are predatory. They have <clears throat> no right to demand more than the fair market value. What I accidentally use is probably worth $20. Okay, I'll pay 30. They shouldn't have baited in the first place because we don't take photos that lack a watermark. A photographer that wants to sell his work has the option to put only a watermark on it when he puts it out on the website. When you want the photo, then the photographer sells you the one without the watermark. Very nice. The firms that choose to bait with no watermark are ones that are preying on people, typically small business owners, who they're getting into this for the first time, can't afford a huge extortionary letter, can't afford to even have to bring it to their lawyer who might charge them just to look this over and, and, and send a letter back to say, back off, or back off asshole. So, I am moving my own legislators to outlaw the practice in Connecticut. Okay? Now, the beauty is, if this happens just in Connecticut, the firms that will run afoul of our law better be taking those unwatermarked photos down nationwide. Because if you're on the web in Connecticut, you're on the web throughout North America. So we can do a very good thing for small business people, for innocent civilians. Some of them have gotten shakedown letters too. Getty Images is the biggest predator. Okay? Don't come near them. Okay? Don't buy their stuff because their business model is evil. Okay? It looks like Pixis. P-X-Y-S-Y-S. That's -S -Y -S. another one now. It seems to be using extortionary tactics to get what they, <laughs> their, their clients are photographers. The photographer would do so much better with a letter from Pixies saying, you innocently or not have been using our client's image. There is a licensing fee for it. It's $20, not $750. Here's some more images by this photographer. Maybe you would like them too. Photographer gets paid on the spot, gets the best marketing possible. Suddenly he's in front of your computer with all his other work that you can legitimately pay a little more for. Isn't that a better business model for business? And it's certainly better for ethics. I'm in the corner of ethics. Evil companies will eventually be run on business. It's too bad it goes slowly. And it shouldn't have to happen by legislation. It would be nice if enough people around know that you don't come near a Pixis watermarked image. You don't come near a Getty image. Let them wither on the vine and leave themselves with a very few extortionary letters and enough people coming back at them, countersuing for the extortion that they're doing. I would love to see that. And if they pursue against me, they'll be part of it. Thanks for listening. And if you do 
have a, an acquaintance that has suffered the same fate? I'd like to know. We'll do a class action. Email me, stuartforliberty at gmail.com. Good night.